Hello, my beautiful people. So today is DC's birthday. He turns 25. 25, 25, 52. Anyway, he turned 25 today. So I am back with a cooking with Jackie segment. And today we're gonna make his favorite cake. It's pound cake. Now I've never made pound cake before, so we are in this together. I just looked up the recipe online and I found one that had five stars. I'll put the instructions below, everything I do below. Yeah, he loves pound cake. I've never even made a cake from scratch. If it wasn't in a box and it was only add water or milk or eggs, like those are the only things I know about adding. But we're doing it with flour, baking powder, all that stuff. So let's make this pound cake and see how it is. So I know we got Nova over here in the cut. What you talking about, mama? Hey, mama. Hey. And we got daddy's presents over here waiting. I just got him a couple of things. Um, an outfit from Lacoste, some shoes. Um, this is a massage and I left money in there cause he hates tipping them. What? What? Okay. Uh, I got him some shoes from Gucci. This is the picture frame that I'll probably post and then I got him some more stuff in here. Some more like Lacoste stuff and some other stuff. So, I just wanted to bake the cake from my heart. Why not? Why get a box cake when you can bake it? If you got a kitchen, you got the ingredients. Speaking of ingredients, let me show you what ingredients they are. So yeah, Nova has decided that she is not gonna let me just cook unless she is here. So she is strapped onto my person and we are gonna cook together. And it might have been a good idea, Nova, actually, so you could help cook Daddy's cake. Anyway, so she, she's my sous chef today, or, or assistant, or whatever. You happy about that? Yeah, yes, mama. Look at the picture over here. Anyway. Well, I don't really have bowls at my house. Oh, I don't have bowls. Here are the ingredients that you need. You need two sticks of butter, a half a cup of vegetable shortening, three cups of sugar, you need five eggs, three cups of all-purpose flour, half a teaspoon of salt, half a teaspoon of baking powder, one cup of milk, one teaspoon of vanilla extract. As the first thing we're gonna do is preheat the oven while we're doing all this to 350 degrees. Start, bam. Okay, first of all, it says with a mixer. I don't have a mixer, so I'm going to have to do this with my hand. I'm going to have to do this with my hands, yeah, because I was planning on doing it with my feet, but since I don't have a mixer, I guess I'll do it with my hand. I took a little break real quick. I'm going to get some food. Okay. I was tired, though, so. She is going to bow out gracefully. I'm going to put her to bed, and then we're going to continue on cooking. Half a cup of vegetable shortening. I don't even know what this stuff it is. Nah, I think this is half a cup. I don't think my bowl is gonna be big enough. Three cups of sugar. And it says add the sugar a little bit at a time. This is only a two cup measuring cup. Okay, now it says add eggs one at a time. I'm not done with the sugar. I'm just gonna keep doing it all together. So we're gonna do that. So I'm gonna add an egg. Eat it. I'm gonna keep adding the sugar a little bit at a time. I don't know how much a little bit at a time is, so I'm just gauging it how I want to. Okay, so I didn't have a big enough bowl. I don't know why it's just kind of crooked, whatever. I didn't have a big enough bowl. I don't have a little bowl. So what I did was put it in my pot, and when I was whisking it, I wasn't scratching the bottom of the pot because clearly it's steel. I'm not trying to scratch it. So now that I've added all of the sugar and all of the eggs. I'm getting the bottom of it with this so it doesn't scrape it. I think it looks pretty good to me. What do y'all think? I'm not like I'm done or anything, but looks like how cake batter is so good. Side note, I don't know who the fuck would lick this and put this in their mouth after you add five eggs to this raw and then you want to lick, lick this. It's fucking nasty. The next step, stir dry ingredients in a bowl. 
I ain't got another bowl that big. Man, this flour is gonna take up this whole little bowl that I got. Oh, okay, I'm finna use a pan. We gonna make something shake. Don't have another bowl. Didn't have one to begin with. So I'm gonna put this little mixture in here. I guess the moral of the story is like, if you're gonna bake, make sure you have like bowls. So that's three cups of flour. Half a teaspoon of fine salt. I don't know if this is fine salt, but it's salt and it is fine for me. So half a teaspoon of baking powder. Half a teaspoon of baking powder. I think I mixed it all together wrong, but whatever. I'm slowly supposed to be adding the milk in here too. So I'm gonna mix these all together. I'm gonna mix them with a spatula so that I don't scrape the bottom of my pan. And yeah. I'm sorry y'all, I just don't have the tools. Just use what you got, shit. One day we're just eating this shit. Okay, I'm gonna add the one cup of milk. So this is already supposed to be in there. So you put this in there and then you add the milk to that. Okay. Add a teaspoon of vanilla extract and then I'm gonna keep stirring for my life so I've stirred it so much my arm hurts suggestion get a stand mixer or get the little electronic mixer because it's not worth it unless you want your arm to be really strong anyway moral of the story is I'm done mixing it if I'm not done I'm done so then it says to grease and flour the bottom of the pan I have never heard of anybody greasing and flouring. It sounds, it sounds weird, but I looked up what to do. So it says you can use shortening and then rub it all on the bottom of the pan and then you sprinkle flour on it and then you tap out the excess flour. And that's how, it's, that's how cakes don't stick to the bottom of the pan. So I'm ratchet, I guess, if you wanna call it. I'm using my hands. Use a brush if you have one. I don't have bowls, so clearly I don't have a damn brush. So I'm just going to use my hands. Grease that. I figure I'll use the shortener because I don't see me ever using it again. I could, you could use butter too if you don't have the shortener. But if you don't have the shortener, then I don't know how you're making this. I have no idea what I'm doing. I'm gonna stick my hand in here. Ooh, it feels fun. And then I'm just gonna sprinkle some powder on. If anybody out there is a baker, don't judge me. I'm not. Clearly, like this bitch is done. Her cake gonna overflow. So now I'm just going to stick the batter into the pan and then we're gonna bake it for an hour to an hour and a half. Just stick a toothpick in it. If the toothpick comes out clean, you know you're good to go. I don't got a toothpick, just like I don't have a lot of stuff. Maybe I'll stick a straw in it. I don't know. We're gonna figure it out. I'll know if it's done or not. I'm gonna taste it. Is that gross? I'm gonna taste it. I've never like made batter before, so I feel like I should, even though I just talked hella shit about it being hella eggs in here. I don't care. Let me taste it. Pretty good. It just has chunks in here, so hopefully it's not like uncooked chunks. Anyway, hopefully I don't get like E. coli or no crazy shit. Salmonella, eating raw eggs. My kid's crying. I'm gonna stick this in the oven. We'll see you in an hour and a half. Okay, so an hour and a half later, this is what it looks like. It's probably burnt around the edges. Gonna take it out sooner than that, but it wasn't done on the middle. So when DC gets back, I'm going to have him taste it, and he will give you the honest to God truth if it tastes good, because. I mean, I'll tell you the truth too, but he's going to be brutally honest. He'll say if it tastes good and he'll tell you if that shit nasty. He's about to be home and see what he said. The time he got here yesterday, we were like rushing because we had a whole bunch of stuff to do. So we went to the Chris Brown concert. Well, he performed at the Chris Brown concert. But anyway, <clears throat> he's here now. So it's the next day. So it's not his birthday technically, but it's okay because the cake is still good. Hopefully, so we gonna see what he said. It looks burnt as hell, I know. All right, guys. Do you wanna, I know it's black. Give me the hiccup, I took him from you, give it to me. Give me the hiccup. Did I get it? <laughs> she looks disturbed. She don't even go. 
Why you get these rainbow ass candles, man? Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear daddy. Happy birthday to you. Yay! Make a wish and blow out your candles. Um, hmm. It's pound cake. How is it? Tastes hey, like it. It is? Yes! More like cornbread. Cornbread? But it tastes good though. Yes! Our pound cake is a success! Yay! Even though it's a little burnt, I guess I could have taken it out a little bit earlier. But a little bit earlier, like more like a whole lot earlier. Mm. That's so good. I like it. If you like videos like this, cooking with Jackie, make sure you like, comment, subscribe, share, and see you again next video.